Hey y'all, I'm back and this time I am recreating some of the American Crafts toothpick, clothespin, and paperclip embellishments. Um, you'll need a variety of materials for this. You'll need some different punches. That's what I'm going to show you guys first. That I punched a variety of things. I used the Martha Stewart hydrangea punch, um, one of my banners from my own collection. I used heart punches, label punch. I used um, a set of hearts from Lawn Fawn, die cutting those, and I, and I die cut a few glitter hearts and cork hearts. And now I'm pulling some paper clips clothespins and toothpicks and then I've also pulled some washi. So here the first thing I'm gonna do is pull my scrap box and I meant to hit, uh, punch some banner shapes with these um, with that American Crafts punch but I actually uh, forgot to do that so I just did that on camera. The first thing I'm gonna do is layer two hearts around the toothpick. Th these are cork hearts and that's done with the Lawn Fawn heart and I really love the shape of the Lawn Fawn hearts. And I'm just using hot glue gun to adhere all of this. Now I'm layering a hydrangea punch, which you guys have seen me do several times in the last few videos, and I'm going to pop it right onto that toothpick. And then because I don't have a backing for that, um, I should have got like a little small circle punch to back that. I'm just going to punch a quick heart and just put that right onto the back, and that turns out pretty cute. The next thing I'm going to work on is the clothespin, and sorry this is not zoomed in, um... I use my phone and so I don't know if there's a way to zoom in. If there is, let me know. I think there's a way to zoom in for photo, for obviously videoing. I just don't know if it's good quality and so I may try that when I'm doing little like embellishment videos like this. This is the banner punch that you guys saw me use at the beginning and because it left a little gap on the left side of that toothpick, I just um, attached it with my tiny attacher which worked out fine. And here I'm going to use a glitter heart on this pink paper clip. And these paper clips, um, the colored ones, came from the Target Dollar Spot a while back. I'm going to add another heart on the other side so that they'll, it'll be backed with the same size heart. And then I'm using, I'm doing another um, floral, another floral uh, toothpick. That one was one that I created in one of the other videos or I created that maybe it was the one that I practiced on. I'm not really sure but I had it in my stash and I decided to use it. And then here's where I got my banner punch. It's an EK Success uh, label punch actually and I punched a few different shapes and that's the top of the toothpick that shape and then this bottom is just like a, I used washi like a black and white washi tape. And you guys will see all of these up close and at the at the end. Here's kind of a smaller heart punch and I'm backing both sides of that paper clip with those glitter hearts. And then here is um, a clothespin version which that turned out cute. Um, one thing about the clothespins you don't have to have two sides you can just do the one side obviously. Here's the butterfly punch or cutouts that I used from the Martha Stewart punch. I'm going to de decorate that with a little enamel dot. And then next, that was a label I had for my stash, and so I just folded it over and used it, and it was perfect for this project. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of washi tape for interest there at the bottom. On some of these American Crafts um, toothpick embellishments, they do have two layers of banners, and so I thought I'd try to recreate that as best as I could. And then I'm going to add a little word, and I don't know what I add. I think I add you and me on that one. I feel like these are perfect for Project Life. They're the perfect size. Um, they're good for plant for your planners. And I did see somebody, and I cannot think of the name of the person now. I want to say it's like her name's Belinda, maybe Belinda something. And she um, had made little paperclip embellishments one day, which were super cute. Now, she, I think she did them out of fabric, and she may have used washi tape and things like that. But um, so it kind of got me thinking when I saw these embellishments that I could recreate those myself. Um, but she, I think she did use paper clips and I believe she used fabric and then maybe some other different supplies like washi tape. I'm cutting out another word to paste on this heart. And then I'm going to add that to the paper clip. And like I said, you guys will see all of these close up at the very end. I got a little bit of hot glue kind of stuck on that all around the paper clip, but the good thing about it is hot glue comes right off after um, it's dried. So I even got some pieces on my desk and it just came right off. So if you want a good glue that you know will stick quickly, I think the hot glue works perfectly. I'm using some cutout butterflies now from uh, my stash. 
and then I think I'm going to cut another butterfly just because I realized I needed another one to back that up. And then I think I'm going to continue with this last, these last ones and then I'm going to have some final photos. So um, I guess I do maybe another banner version on this toothpick and then I'm pretty much done. So I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the um, final picks. And if you guys have any suggestions on things you want me to recreate, please let me know in the um, comments below and I will look into recreating them and I'll have those videos up. So um, I hope you guys have a great week and let me know if there's any questions.